Hi and welcome to Straight Up Tech. Let's learn together. Now in the last video we learned how to develop basic menu in Unity. Now this is the continuation of that video. Uh, in this video we are going to learn how you can hide or show the menu whenever you desire or whenever a person purchases something or gets log in, logged into something or you want to give the person some kind of full control if you have in-app purchases enabled or something else so let's start but before we do please do subscribe and click on the bell icon so you never miss a video again now this was our basic setup if you remember now if we play the game right now this is just the simple menu if we push start then the game starts and if we go back then we are back to our main menu quit then application quit is displayed now i want to go a bit further and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another menu panel and we'll do the same on the canvas i'm going to click create ui and then panel i'm going to name this panel as hidden panel just for the reference now why do i have to create a panel and why can't i just create uh, some other button and hide them because i tried it and i don't know why but unity does not allow you to hide the buttons and then re-enable them so it is always better to make a panel then you can display or make everything you want inside that panel then disable that panel so i have written this hidden panel now i'm going to create some buttons i'll create two buttons in this hierarchy i'll create one more button okay now for the sake of explanation i'm going to name this button as reader boards and i'm going to name this button as achievements so in this reader board i'm going to name the text also a reader board and same as always robotic light and the text of achievements as achievements then i am going to place these leaderboard and the achievement button down here now i don't want this hue kind of look so i am just going to make this colors alpha completely transparent so you can see now we have a start a quit a leaderboard and achievements so what i have to do is i just have to disable this okay but how to enable it one thing that i do is i create a new button in the main panel button make it a child of the main panel and then i'm going to name it as login in the login i'm going to change the button name as login and the text also to login and i'm going to keep this button somewhere here and so going to change
so it looks better when we see it again okay now i'm again going to hide the in panel so now we have a start button a quit button and a login button what i want to do is whenever i click the login button i need to show this hidden panel and i want to sh show logged in in instead of login on this button so to do that we are going to go back to our script and open it now what we are going to do is we are going to create a public game object by the name of i panel so this is going to be a reference to our panel accidentally kept it outside the braces now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a function public void login in this what i'm going to do is i'm going to say ui panel dot set active true so what this line is going to do whatever reference i have given inside this ui panel this line is going to activate that panel so login is a fixed name so we we'll create some game login so once you save it go back to unity and press play as soon as i press login I have not assigned. Now we have to go back to Unity, and in our login button, we have to assign data to the on-click function. Same plus, we have our script in this menu panel. The functions, button working script, and game login. Save it. then press play as soon as we log in we forgot to assign the panel to this so we have to go to the menu panel now you see we have a new component here name as ui panel so we want to enable the hidden panel as soon as login is pressed so we will create a reference by dragging dropping it to the ui panel save it press play as soon as i click login see both leaderboards and achievements are being displayed so this is one of the way in how you can show or hide your panel according to your needs now one more thing which we are going to do is we want to change the text of this button as soon as the user is logged in so you so you know that you are already logged in to your account so to do that we'll go back to the script and i'm going to create a public text but button text what i'm going to do is i want to change the button text to logged in whenever the login is pressed so button text dot text equals to logged 
in. What will happen is, whenever the login button is pressed, the button, the text of the button will get changed to logged in. You will save it. Now you will see that a button text component is created. So to create the reference to our login text, I am just going to move the login text to this reference. So save it. Now press play. As soon as you press login, see now logged in is displayed. So you know that you are already logged in in your leaderboard and achievements are being displayed. So this is the way in which you can show or hide your UI systems, your buttons or you can only show the UI when some conditions are met. So this was all for the UI video. Hope it was resourceful. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so you never miss a video again.